All right, let's see if it works. Mm, starting, starting. Oh, yes, we'll see it in a moment. You are lib. The internet can totally see you now. So stop using your encoder. All right, can I? I can, yes. Excellent. So make that on top. And make this on top. All right. So now just let's wait for people to show up. In the meantime. Let's play some games. No, I'm not really good at this game. Just filling some time until until some people show up. Hello, Dakeda. Hello. Just filling some time here with some really bad playing until until people show up. I think it's going excellently. Ow. Yeah, I'm just so going to die here. I wonder how the frame rate is for the stream. It says 60 here in FCU, but I don't really know how it really ref reflects on the stream. Thank you. So what I'm planning to do here is to, is to create a little example translation of this game. Although I'm not going to use the Japanese version. Mega Man 2 is a really great example in that way because the text is quite clear in the ROM already. You can see it qu quite clearly there. There, the text are also re really short. Let's see. All right, let's put some other music on the background. Yeah, I can imagine it's not really exciting if you are not a programmer. So my plan for tonight's video was actually this. I have here the Mega Man 2 ROM, this is the USA version. And I was thinking for an example of ROM hacking, I was thinking of creating a little Finnish version of it. If you look at the USA version of the ROM, Mega Man 2, you can actually see the text quite clearly in the ROM. So in that regard it's not really that difficult. For example, let's see, what would be the quickest, quickest thing? Did I actually make any saves here? No, 
I didn't. Hmm. What was it? Well, the press start is quite weak. Start. Start. Press. Let's see. Just going to show a proof of concept here. Like this. Okay, didn't change that. Press a button, it says here. Stage select. It actually overwrites that part there. Okay, that's good. That's an excellent thing. Now I just changed some things here, but... Well, I didn't actually change anything, because... Why? Huh? Let's work on the local computer then. Yeah, that ex explains it. Select. Stage select. It actually still didn't change it. Wow. Well, this is not off to a good... S oh, it's duplicated here twice, okay. But it still didn't change it. Wow. Off to a great... Ah, uh, it's Rockman this time, pro Rom. But it still didn't change. Wow. There's no more stage here. And I am working on the right ROM. Yes. Just trying to get something to change here. Yeah. Alright, okay, I got that to, that to change. We are getting somewhere. Mega Man 2 is an, is an easy example in that way, because the texts are in plain readable in the ROM. I don't know if you be, people are familiar with hex editors, but in hex editors you can, you can see the file contents as they are. Because normally when you edit in files in a text editor, it would look like this. And this is also the file contents, but in this case the text editor is making assumptions on the contents of the file. It's interpreting the bytes. Namely, it is interpreting that... Let's see if I can find it. Namely, it is interpreting that certain bytes here... Yeah, I was restarting the game. Uh, namely, it's interpreting that certain bytes like this OA here, which is byte number 10. It means line fade. When, inter when it sees that byte, when uh, reading a normal file like this, it is interpreting it as a line feed and it creates new lines, new lines, new lines, uh, always when it sees that particular byte. And that is not really wanted, because this is not a text file, so line feeds are meaningless. So I'm just wanting to see the raw file contents here, and that's why I use hex editor. The hex editor shows here uh, this is again Joe, the same editor I was using yes yesterday, but the hex editor shows in the first column the file offset, i.e. where we are in the file. It's just a number that tells how many bytes we are into the into the file. It's in hex hexadecimal numbers. If you don't know hexadecimal numbers, then things are going to get a bit inconvenient for you, but hexadecimal is actually explained in Wikipedia quite well. So it's basically a number system where there are 16 digits, not 10. So anyway, the file first column here is the file offset, where you are in the file. Then comes 16, usually 16, because 16 numbers that tell what the file actually contain. The file actually contains raw bytes. Bytes are just numbers. The fi all files contain just numbers. And it 
it shows 16 bytes per line and then a visual representation of those bytes based on assuming that those bytes mean ASCII characters. They don't actually need to mean ASCII characters, like most of what, what you see here. It doesn't actually mean ASCII characters, but it shows what, what it would like if they were interpreted as ASCII characters. So the hexadecimal numbers here are what the file actually contains, and this is an interpretation of those bytes. So when we move down uh, nest ROM here. The first 16 bytes here are the nest ROM header, 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 and then comes the actual ROM data. When we are working with uh, Megaman 2 ROM, and I run it in FC this emulator, I can see actually what the ROM contains. It contains 16 times 16 kilobyte uh, program ROM, and at zero times eight kilobytes character ROM. So it contains nothing but program ROM. All of this after the header here is program ROM. What it actually means this program ROM is, is it's kinda it's a mixture of executable code and data. That's all that it, all that it uh, contains. Executable code and data. And uh, while what you see here may look like a total mess to you, it is actually executable code. And if I bring a disassembler to that file and show a disassembly of that content and move somewhere where there's actually some meaningful code, like here, you can actually see this is what the program code actually means. In a disassembler you can see the same bytes. These are the same bytes you, you can see in the hex, edi hex editor here. Exactly the same bytes. But here the disassembler is interpreting those bytes as if they were machine code. And it shows uh, this part here is interpreted as this instruction. Like what if the processor was actually executing that code, it would make the same interpretation. But it also contains raw data, like this here. This part here is not meaningful code. The disassembler still... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Anyway, the disassembler is me making, still making an interpretation here on the bytes. Uh, zero here means the break instruction, and it is interpreting it as break instruction. But in this context, while that's a proper interpretation, it's uh, not what, uh, what it actually means. So there's, there's program code here and there's data here intermixed in the same ROM. And uh, for now we are go going to concentrate. I'm going to be put a little quieter this music because I can't hear myself. Not that one. That one. So for now we are going to concentrate on the actual data here. And like I said before, in Mega Man 2 it's really easy because the characters are visi visible here in plain text here in the ROM. Not in all ROMs you can see the text here. If I bring my homebrew hex editor here, I can bring an alternative view to the same ROM. That's not quite what I wanted to show. Let's try again. All right, this is a little small, this text, and... Um, okay, I didn't think of this. This may be a little inconvenient, inconvenient for those of you who don't watch this as, at uh, HD resolutions. It actually shows the, shows the same view here but a little, little more characters per line. The idea with my homebrew hex editor here is that if the text is not actually in ASCII, I, I can shift the characters and find the text there if, if, it, if it is in some kind of other format. But anyway, let's concentrate on the ASCII text. Like I did be here before, I can, I can change the text, just write it here, overwrite. Mm, let's 
siis sana paina nappia salasana and so I, I can I can replace the text like that but um, there's there are some problems with doing that let's see where else is it affect start salasana Okay, that's not going to help because there's no text to be found there. I still didn't get that changed. Weird. So anyway, that's not going to be my style because there's all, ki all kinds of limitations when you do things like that. So I'm going to undo the changes. Actually, I'm going to get an unmodified ROM here. That's my way to undo changes. And actually, stage select, undo that as well. So how I actually do ROM hacks usually is I create a tool. Let's homebrew. It just means it's made by made by me. It means I have made it. So anyway, let's create a tool. Make a man to dump. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a tool that finds all the text in the ROM, puts it puts it puts it into a text file. Text files are so much easier to edit than this ROM is. So yeah. I'm also going to need need to make some assumptions here based on the characters I see here. You can see all, all kinds of weird things like these at characters here and percentage characters and so on. And they probably mean something. It would really help. Well, I, ca I can actually do this just for the example and to see what it changes. If I overwrite those little things there, actually I do it here because this was the part that I was supposed to edit. Just to see how those... Uh, where was it actually? If I put it here and I put it here, I want to see how those characters, how those special characters look like. Okay, so mute, please. Better. So you can see when I put these special characters here, you get all kinds of graphics here. I'm using this emulator on Linux, which kind of restricts me because this Linux version doesn't support all the features that the Windows version does. I would, well, I would like to see the contents of the character ROM, or actually the character RAM here. But um, that's not an option for me, because I'm doing this in Linux. In hindsight, I should have probably recorded this in Windows. Oh well. So anyway, continuing. By the way, that add character here, it was kind of, no, present is character, it was kind of looking like the right edge of that dialog screen. What is this? What is this? This may actually be program code here. 8C. Oh. Alright, well, the first time. First things first. Let's read the ROM. Vector higher screen. Actually, I should probably use the bigger window for the code so you can see it better. And put this a little bit higher so I am not blocking it. 
so like so. And the size of the ROM is this much. Just to make sure it works. I'm, us I'm using the Cinnamon Window Manager. Let's see about the noise. Let's see, I if I use Audacity to see my... Yeah, it's kind of not loud, but if I take this out, it's so much louder. Yeah. Yesterday when I told you about my server, if I take the cable from my server, which is in another room, connect it into a USB speaker, and put a USB cable from the speaker into this computer, the noise, noise in my microphone mysteriously gets quieter. I'm using this this time. But I don't, th I don't think my voice is really quiet this time. Although if you say so, it's... If I put it a little bit louder, maybe too loud. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. No changes here. So, compiling. Initializer, but incomplete type. EF stream. Yeah, I need this. And I need a cast. Nasty cast. All right, it compiles now. So to find the texts. Yeah, I know it increases the noise too because it's kind of baked, baked, baked in there. So, yeah, I got the ROM now in the data structure. I'm kind of interested to know what is the meaning of this part here. Actually, this can be assembler code. Yeah, it can be assembler code. It strangely looks like a pointer table here. This looks like a JSR instruction. This looks like the string length. Oh yes. That's how it looks like. So I need to actually dump a table. table should begin like like here but that's not that's not a pointer address here is 6f38 that's the kind of address I'm looking for and because it's in a it's not a microphone the microphone well it's it's a cheap microphone here but the problem is not the microphone if I use a different microphone the situation is sti still the same I know the noise is kind of distracting. If I if I did post post recording, it it would be much better. I also got this headset here, which I normally use. It's it got it has got the same problem, and I also have this kind of microphone somewhere, not in my hands right right now. But the pro pro problem is not the microphone; it's the connector here. It's either the computer case or the cables or or the integrated sound card. 
So anyway, I'm looking for that kind of offset, which is that plus that much, or that plus this much, which would be the AF, that kind of offset. So I'm looking for that, which is there. That may not be the case, though. So let's see. This is actually in the last bank. Yes, it's it's in the last bank. So it should be that. So three eight EF. That's what I'm looking for. Not that wasn't found either. Audio and video noise. Video noise. You mean the noise where the uh, kind of bar comes from up and down, up to down some, sometimes? Yeah, I don't see it here, but I see, I saw it on, in the in the broadcast. I don't know what causes it. So I clearly have here a jump JSR instruction. But the weirdest thing is. I'm not seeing the same thing here. This is not a JSI instruction. So what is that actually? What is that actually? Hmm. Ah, the noise in the green screen, right. No, that's got nothing to do with it. If I take the green screen, you can see how it actually looks here, but that's just the camera doing that thing. Hmm. Just your ima imagination here. Okay, so I have a, I have a length text at address address EF or actually if I take the ROM address here F four and uh, that is eight nine A B. Text, but I would really like to know where that is referred from. That would interest me so much. And uh, I probably don't have that disassembly of mm, that anywhere. Let's see. Yeah, I have this disassembly here, but it's not very useful. Let's see if I can see the JSI instruction here anyway. EF38. Wait, what? Oh, because this is not Mega Man 2, this is Rock Man 2. Okay. Uh, so I have to do without this assembly. The next one is in this address 5, 7. And the next one is F6. Next one is 70, except that's not right because I'm taking. Let's remove the header so I can actually see the proper addresses here. So they should be like that. So 60 was the previous one, then the next one is 60D. It's not that the disassembler doesn't work, it just doesn't know what is data and what is not. I think I actually have... Let's see how, if I have anything here. Rockman2.lst I have this 
little bit more sophisticated listing here. I did actually try that. Let's see. This is from Rockman 2, and I'm working on Mega Man 2 here. But, well, it could have the same principles here. Let's see if the offsets are just a little bit different. Yeah, it could be like that. That is pretty close. This was at EF something, and this is at E9 something. But near EF there wasn't a table here. No, there wasn't. These are too far. Get a table. Could this be text? I'm not going to. Maybe I'll make a disassembly first. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. What kind of inputs do I have on, for the microphone? Let's see. Input devices, front microphone, rear microphone, line in. Hmm. Maybe next time. I'm not going to reach beyond behind the table and un under the table and so on now. Because there's also my network cable there which is really prone to disconnecting so I'm not going to do that while I'm streaming. So anyway. In into in. It's kind of unfair towards English speakers to connect to comment in other languages than English here because my main my channel is mainly English although I can understand what you say in Finnish it's not fair towards people who are not Finnish so that should work Set. I need to take those parts out that are probably incorrect. That one probably is correct. Close enough. Thinking that's close enough. Google Translate doesn't really do great with Finnish because Finnish is so different from other languages, but yeah. Yeah, the operating system is Linux. The window manager is Cinnamon. When you have Linux, most people, when they see my desktop, they think that's Linux. But actually, in Linux, there's three levels of things. There's on the base, there's Linux, which is the kind of, it's actually the kernel. You don't actually see Linux. You never see Linux. Then uh, there's the distribution. Distribution only, mostly just tells how you install, install software. For example, I have Debian here, so... In Debian you use apt-get and uh, uh, mostly apt-get. That's mostly what concerns Debian. The choice of distribution also affects how you set things up, like how you set up your network, how, how you set up your partitions and so on partitions and then st there's the window manager no that's not actually correct because there's Linux which is the kernel and that's not GNU Linux that's that's just Linux 
there's the distribution. Distribution gives you the software that you are running, and that's where the GNU comes, because all these tools like Cut and uh, LS and so on, these are actually that's the wrong one. LS and so on, these are GNU tools, and that's where that's the soft software, and the distribution decides which which software you are going to run in the computer. And for most Linux distributions, the software is kind of the same. And then, uh, then on top there, amongst the software, there's the window manager. And in my case here, the window manager is Cinnamon. I could have any number of different window managers here, but I chose Cinnamon. And most people who see my Cinnamon here, they are just going to think that's Linux, but it's actually Cinnamon. The choice of window manager here decides how the windows are going to look, how you configure things. For example, if I want to configure my display here, this comes from Cinnamon. Th things come from Cinnamon. And uh, actually, if I want to change how my windows look here, for example, uh, let's see, controls, desktop, uh, window borders here. Yeah, if I change like this, then the windows change radically here, but it's still Cinnamon. So Bluebird is what I had here previously. Well, yeah, Window Manager is actually different than Desktop and Environment, but I actually use those quite interchangeably. Yeah, I'm simplifying things a lot. And then there's people who, who don't use the desktop, desktop environment at all. If I jump to console here, I don't think you will get a recording of this. If I jump to here for a moment, you probably either get a blank screen or you get my desktop. Right now I am, uh, I am in the Linux console. So let me get back to the desktop. Even my camera froze, okay. All right, so, <laughs> okay. Is it working again? Thank you, Christian. So now that I have the proper ROM here, oh, the window stickiness stopped here. I would like that to be sticky. Yeah, that works. Okay, so EF60. I'm looking for EF60, but it doesn't look like it. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's uh, it's actually not EF. So it's actually the previous bank. Yeah. So it's going to be... What comes before C? It's going to be BF. So it's... Where is it actually? AF. Like here. It's not there either. Six F. So it should be A F thirty eight. That's not it. How come? How come I am? I am lost here. Three. Do I have the right room here? Yes, I do. Yeah, this is Talos principle. Oh, 
I'm doubt, doubting myself. I need to take uh, this address. Okay, AF three B is what I'm looking for. AF three B, but I'm not seeing it there. Why, 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 why? Maybe it's an even earlier bank. So let's scroll up. Previous bank, please. There we go. So we have a table here. Where does it get addressed from? Oh, it's got the PPU address here. Alright. So it begins with a PPU address. No, I haven't played witness. But how does it know how to index that? Alright, so the table anyway begins at F39. That's where the word begins. But what does it use as an index to that? It loads the address, and then it um, loads the length. Puts that there. And until 1 9, it repeats that. Alright, so that is actually one screen full. So that is what it does. But how does it load the others? Change the music. Um, thank you, well, what? So, we have covered this as far as 19, which is um, 52. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, right here. So, this offset is unknown. So how does it load those? So <coughs> at least I know where it is referred from. So actually it's going to be dumped screen which begins at at this address is this long and is referred from this address which is um, where is this actually where are you you are there the like that to a7 to e7 that's the low part which is uh, actually plus one it is actually repeated F5 and again here F9 plus 1 ROM hack means uh, changes you make into games or other programs that are distributed in a ROM ROM means like this, for example, this is a Famicom game cassette. It contains, if I can open this, it contains a circuit board like this, and uh, these two here are ROMs. They are memory chips, memory chips that contain 
program that has been written there by the factory. And the memory can be extracted with a device that puts the memory contents into a file. And what I have here in front of me is the contents of the, of the game cassette of Mega Man 2 for NES. If you haven't ne never seen Mega Man 2, it looks like this. So it's a game. And the contents of the ROM are here, and I'm going to change it. That's what I'm going to do. It's, that's what is ROM hacking about. I'm going to change the ROM contents. And for this video I'm going to try to create a finished translation of that. And I could actually edit ro the ROM contents here right in the hex editor. I could change like this. Uh, change this password text into Salasana, which is a password in Finnish. I could change it like that, but that's not my way of doing things. I'm actually going to extract the text into a text file. <coughs> I'm going to extract the text into a text file and then create a program that puts the text back, in, back into the file. So 2ed plus 1. Okay, that's going to be one screen. Base address, length. Actually, I'm going to do this. Yes, that is exactly what I'm doing, Min. Mm. And... So now I need to decide the format for my ROM dump. Hmm. Actually I'm going to use printf because I'm more familiar with it. Printf Printf Take the... Actually this should be global Load Word Oh actually read would be better That. I use namespaces. You, you see I'm using namespaces here. Or do you mean this? I don't like that. Long story short. So print of print of... Yeah. Text length is...
that and then actually I do this Yeah, the games were mostly created by writing assembly code. There were no compilers that would produce efficient enough code. So that is the base address. And then, then... I don't know if that will compile. Actually, I should probably try. STD initializer list has not been declared. Oh yes, because I need this. Yeah, it does compile. Let's see so far look like this start password we are getting somewhere this is my dump so I have dumped the first part then I need to find the next one and how do I do that because it didn't actually find it here I'm curious, what is this table used for? No, wait, what? Oh, right. Right here. Oh. Not sure, what is that? I'm using Joe because I'm familiar with it. I have tried to use Emacs at some times. Mm, I was al already familiar with Joe and I didn't want to switch. And with Wim, the learning curve is too steep for my taste. So the other text here I don't see any references to it anywhere, which perplexes me. Could there be a pointer somewhere? Like to this. That would have to be AF52. That's one, but that's probably false positive. It looks like a false positive. No, that's not it. So where is this referred from? AF52. Where are you referred from? Is it possible it uses this same part here, but with a different value for x? Yeah, 
if you're using wondering about this I could do this this is exactly the same thing but I I use this way whenever possible because when working with iterators and other non-trivial data formats it's uh, more efficient to do this let me show you an example if you want to if you got your own iterator or whatever where you are implementing your own own type of plus plus operator this is what gets called when you do this and this is what gets called when you do this this is simple let's suppose the iterator contains something like this as a private data you do this and return itself but here you have to return a copy of what you have here and then increment A and return the copy and this is more expensive because you have to make a copy this is more expensive so that's why I use pre-incrementation plus plus P whenever possible because it's a good habit with, uns with unsigned and integer variables it doesn't really make a difference at all but with uh, heavier iterators and other objects it does make a difference so that's why I do it did I actually I forgot to put this here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the difference. So anyway, and actually if you don't know what is the practical difference between those, if uh, if I got this and I do this versus if I have this and I do this. After this A is still a is now five, 6 but b is 5 but after this a is 6 and b is 6 that's the difference the difference here is a gets copied first and then it's incremented so b b gets the value before it's incremented and here a is incremented first and then the value is taken so b gets the value after a is, a is incremented that's why it called this is called post increment and this is called pre increment the value is b incremented before the value is copied that's the difference here so anyway to find the more the rest of the text i got all the text here in this dump but who is referring to it it may be that some of the references are in text that I haven't or I mean in in code that I haven't yet found so let's see switch bank I have hit here in here there has to be some kind of functions which I took out Bank OC jump with params. Let's see. Yeah, that should be still there. Yeah, that should be also there. Yeah, I can still keep those. They are exactly the same in the USA version and the Japanese version so can have those can have these probably can have those that's probably not right Let's see div mod where where are you probably here C8 for E. 
Yeah, that might be it. So the offset here is three bytes. So what is in this offset? The same function. All right. Hello to Germany. So have that. What else? That is there. Make one weapon routing table. CC6 and uh, say could be. Yeah, delete all sprites. It's there. F1 free, there should be a function there. Let's see, it could be this object create. Hmm. Yeah, it is here. So this is at this address and DA. And the D77 could be this. Just making some uh, some assumptions here. Could be this, or it could be this. Let's see for comparison. Create with default attributes. Okay, so it's that one. Don't need those. C07. This looks like it could be in the same. Address, yes it is. Yes it is, yes it is. And read joypads could be in the same address, although it's not necessarily. Uh, it's, it's a little bit offsetting. Right palette could be like here. And probably these are also offsetted similarly. DEF. See, yes, that is there. DEF. Yes, that is there. That's as far as I get. Camera is changing the light balance when I move. <laughs> so, did this help in any way? EF. No, it was. Where was it? It was AQA7. No, I mean A2A, A2E7. English vowels confuse me. Oh, that is actually referred in another place. I didn't expect that. Well, well, that solves, solves the problem. So, okay, that's a solution. 6FBD. Okay, so this is the table of the beginning of sets of strings. So, hmm. I see. So that is the table. Hmm.
table of starting offsets. Into this data. So what is this used for? Well, never mind that. It's not the topic of this time. So, and there are ten strings in that. <coughs> It is referred from those addresses, this should be high, like that, and also referred from there, 3, 6, 9, 7, uh, never mind what I say here. Total rube. <coughs> rube. What does rube mean in that context? And here. And here. Excellent. A nice spot to speak. Spot a typo. Transfer. Transfer. It's a cake, all right. Table address. Data. Base address. Table link. is from table address plus t. That's the base address. Yeah, no longer a coach driver. That was fun though. PPU address is that. And then Dump text, base address plus position. Actually, I need to take the length first. Okay, let's try that. That doesn't quite look right. No, that's not right. <laughs> Position. Table address. All right, I found it. Position plus two. Position plus three. Better. 
Excellent. Line feed. Line feed is missing. I didn't exactly, exactly leave it. I was... Uh, well, my... What is it called? Fixed term contract ended because the company downsized. Now wondering if I should actually do it like this instead because these texts don't contain new lines. So it would be like that. That would work. And add to free space. I need a free space list. Free. Address position plus three plus text length. So that much is going to mark three. Mark three from address and how much. All right, and finally we dump how much free there is. Dump free. If I found the beginning of free space, I need to find where does it end? Position and end minus position is equal to n minus 1 and something is wrong what is wrong what is wrong a pointer to a function used in arithmetic Ah yes, because free is that's why nine space is not so useful. So space then and then let's saps it space. Fix the typo. Okay, so now it knows that much in the ROM is free space. I could also find free space from elsewhere. This, for example, is free. I'm pretty sure it's free. At least some of it is free. For now, let's assume all of it is free. Mark free. It's, uh, until... 89 bytes. Yeah. All right, I got that as a spray, as free space, but that's not everything. I still need to find the equipped with texts, which are here, and in all likelihood, it uses the same format. Message from Dr. Light completed. 
white temple. Yeah, these all look like they use the same format. So let's see. It is in F A F E F E F E one A. And actually it should be B E. And that was wrong. Well let's find it anyway. Is it here? No, it's not there. One bank backwards. B. Here we go. So this is another another table. And it is used as like that. Current stage. Alright, so those cannot really be changed that way. Hmm. Atomic fire, these are all... Does it load the, the size there? Or are these hard-coded as... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bytes. They are probably hard-coded as 14 bytes, so there's not much you can do about them. And that is the only place where it is referred from. Wow. Quite surprised here. Hmm. That is the location where it takes that. But I actually am not exactly looking at that. Because I'm looking at this. Which should be 8 bytes after that, so it's BE1A. Which is what I'm looking for, but it is not found. How odd. Mm -hmm. Maybe the pointer is constructed like this. L-D-A-B-E. Actually like this. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's where it constructs the pointer. Mm. So it makes the pointer like that. And there are no don't string table. Yeah, it will be stored in, in YouTube. It, it will be on my channel. I'm getting so many color shifts here. Wow. My green screen is showing through. This is uh, what I'm using here, this camera. It's... Um, oh, I changed the position of it. Let's see. Reorient it a little. I'm yeah, actually using a um, dash camera. It's a car dash camera. <coughs> That's why it, it's it's really cheap. It, it is perfectly legal. I'm using a dash camera here, which is really cheap. It's not really designed to be a web, web, web camera or, or anything, but... That's what I'm using here. So is it really multiplying it? Yeah, it is multiplying everything with that. It's multiplied, multiplying by 6. So all the strings must be 6 in length. That kind of complicates things. Yeah. So 
all these strings are 6 in length. So I cannot really mark them as... Hmm... As free. So it begins from that. B E seven E. Yeah. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18, 19, 20 of them. I can't mark it as free space. So that should be address plus address here and position is incremented by 16. Base address. Base address. Segmentation fault. Great. getting somewhere. Now this at character clearly seems like a, like a white space. Hello Xelos. Item... What is this? Item uh, 69. 16. Hmm. 79, what is that? Let's create a character translation. This is a different space. 90, 94 is a different space than this uh, 40. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to play one stage here. Let's see which one would be easiest. Let's do that again. Can I save? Metal Man boss is not really very easy. No, Ness doesn't use that kind of things.
No speedrunners don't start with metal man. Because the items are so much more useful for speed purposes. Bosses are. Uh, speedrunners are not really concentrated and focused on beating, on killing enemies. They are just focused on moving fast. They don't care about killing enemies. Alright. Alright, now let's see the texts. So, time stopper and also the item, please. Message from Dr. Light. Item, ah, that is dash, yeah. Alright, that works. Die, please. Shut down, please. So, I can dash. So, that is dash. And what else was there that I was confused about? This underscore here is. It's actually an ex exclamation mark. Hello, Sengeto. Dr. Light. This backslash is actually a dot and default if return C. And actually, I should use that function. And compile with warnings. Alright. So this looks more like it. Atomic fire. It's because these don't contain any 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 new lines. I can actually use quotation marks here. Well, I'm going to do a simple translation into Finnish language. That's what that's what I'm working on. And just putting the text here in the X editor would be really easy, but that's not what my way to do things. So I'm dumping the text into a text file. And in the text file I'm going to create, for the text file I'm going to create another tool. I'm yellow again, apparently. Another tool that um, um, puts them into, into the ROM. So let's see. Colors. Uh, See if I can make a little bit nicer. Some so yellow here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Blah, that doesn't work. This is so bad, camera. And also my. <laughs> Chroma spill reduction. Ah. Okay, I'm yellow then. I totally forgot what I was saying there, but doesn't matter. I think that's almost everything. It's not everything at all. Let's scan over the file and see whatever text I missed here. Actually put it in a 
larger window so you can you can also enjoy it so let's find more text that's not text but that's probably graphics data so finding text that was one blob of text that is not text although it looks like it I dash 9 processes when I like it I do it when, it, when they are not responding to normal operations Like this, yeah, this is actually a good idea, but it it re really prints a lot of false positives here. I agree, it's it's still quite helpful. So this is marginally better. No, thank you. Text. Did I really find an all everything already? Also, my music stopped. I just put that back uh, back again. Um, I'm looking for the programmer names here. If I can't find them that way, then perhaps I can find them. this way can I what you get sound I hope you're getting sound I can see sound being recorded Let's make this bigger. Mm, not quite what I said I was hoping. There was some kind of utility in here which magnifies things. Let's see, usability accessories. Does anyone know how to magnify portion of the screen? Universal access. Nothing there. Screen reader is not what I need here. Yeah, the noise is there. I can't do anything about it. I said many times earlier. You are exaggerating. Don't have that. I'm using open broadcast open broadcasting system. Look like this. X mag, I just tried it. Nothing of those. Oh yeah, I can actually magnify it using orbs. I could do this. Yeah. So that works. So I expect it to be found in, in the last page. Ending strings to be found here somewhere. That doesn't look like it. Let's see where can I find it. I'm supposed to be good at this.
I'm interested to see what that table is about. Yeah, but the graphics here actually can show something that is useful. If I view Super Mario Bros with it, I can actually see the sprite graphics here, which is really, really useful because this actually has character ROM, and uh, you can see them clearly. But Mega Man 2, it actually doesn't. It it has character. It has only program ROM and it constructs the graphics using code so it doesn't work like that but that's maybe not text I'm looking at this area here and I'm trying to see if there's text in there but there's probably not it so much looks like text probably not Let's try elsewhere. Hmm. This might be it. See? put them into the character range. Oh yeah, I already saw this one. This might have something... No, it doesn't. My duct tape is kind of blocking my view here. This could have something, probably not. No, I don't think that probably doesn't have it, but just in case. No, it doesn't. This here, you can see on the right, the pieces of graphics. It's embedded inside the program ROM. It's inside the program ROM, but it is data. So anyway, in case you are tuning in right now, I'm looking for the ending texts inside uh, Mega Man 2 ROM. This could have some part of it. Nope. Actually, uh, here are some character sets. There's also Japanese characters. This is the English ROM, but there's still uh, Japanese characters here. This is graphics, this is graphics. I'm not looking for graphics. Actually, this doesn't look like graphics. This looks like text. Let's see. Let's see what kind of text it might be. Alright, I found it. Tsubata Yoshiaki Koto Uzaki Naru Isuzuki Yu Presented by Capcom. Okay, I found it. So, and here's more. Metal Man Sanori Sato no Eraman Yuji Kanasawa no. Just look at Nafkin. So these are kinda in the 
in one blob. Is there more here? No, there isn't. So how is this handled? Yeah, this assembly would probably help here. Let's see. Can I actually... How do I resize the window back into normal size? Let's see. Right. So we are back in normal size. So the text is somewhere in here. Inside uh, this is bank. Let's see. This is bank 9. Bank 9. So... This looks promising. Here we go. So the offset here is right around here somewhere. It is using this. Hmm. This may be a coincidence. Not sure. C95. So that's where it begins. It begins 5. No, it begins like here. Character designer. Character designer. Is that the first? Yeah, I did write my own disassembler. This might be the first character here. Let's see. Um, Mega Man 2 ending. I want to see which order the texts appear. See. Staff is the first first one. Alright. But here, character design is the first thing. Alright. I'm going by the assumption that the, this... No, never mind my assumptions, because this character designer and the name comes immediately after. Yasukichi Enough King. Enough King, Tom Pon, and these are completely in... Yeah, they are completely concatenated, so the instructions where, they, where it creates the line breaks have to be somewhere else. So, let's see... Why did my... that window become like that? Yeah... So, that's the text anyway. Text base. And the first characters here are... Yes, that looks about right. Character, so it's... yeah, yeah, it's like, like here. So, let's make some notes. Ending text begins at... Say, 95. That's where the ending text begins. Yeah, I could if I have that, ha have that kind of tools, but the, but the emulator tools on Linux are quite handicapped. So that doesn't really work. This could be a table of string lengths. Let's go by that hi hypothesis. Let's see. Character designer. That is, that is 18 characters long, so 12 in hexadecimal, and that is 12. And the next one could be 
Yasukichi. That is nine characters. Yes, nine. Next one is Enough Kin, which is eight characters. Okay, so this is the length of length of the strings to show there. Okay. Lengths of strings are at C59. But where does it know where to create these line breaks? That's a question. Let's see where does it use this. Hmm. It doesn't actually know. It only knows these base addresses. Right. Alright. Yeah, Bits Hawk is not available on Linux. And as for Lua API in Linux FCUU, this emulator. Okay, yeah, this could be possible, yeah. You are right about that. But it's. I don't have those scripts. So, anyway, that is the o table of. And this is probably the. What does this code do? Alright. So, this is the table of addresses somehow, and this is a table of addresses, but I don't need any of those. I don't actually need any of those. So let's dump the strings, and actually uh, now that I have the address here, let's see how long is this table. This table can't be longer than this much. Mm. Actually it can. Yeah. It totally can. So. Ending string table. Which is at. At there. And the lengths are at there. And it is referred from that refers to the low byte of the address, and uh, this refers to the high byte of the address. No sound? Who is saying no sound? Can you confirm there's no sound? Someone is saying no sound. Do you hear sound? Okay. That's actually not the right one. Should be like that. Music is is right here. It's just because the music comes from my through my microphone only. So anyway, that was what refers to this table.
Table reference high and uh, length the re reference is here. You are officially not noticed. How many are there? Count is sixty. Wow, sixty. I know Lua. I don't need that. I don't need those addresses there. Screen table, table address, that I do need. I'm happy to hear that, Big Daddy Sini. So, into this table da data length is from table address. Oh, yes. Dump text, address, and length. Mark it as free. And the address is that much more. And that's as much as the music was. Let's see if I find some other music. Not interested. Yeah, that's the core music of Unders Undertale. Oh, 
I forgot. That works. Yeah, I do watch watch some anime. Anyway, those are not completely right. I can't get so easy. No, it's not Vima. Wrong drama. Now where was it again? Like here somewhere. Here. at sorry about the tiny font again but I'm looking at this region here which is um, wow other numbers just like that no they are like this I'm making a guess here. Yeah, the camera keeps switching colors, so can't do anything about that. These are the settings I have for the camera. If I take out the filters, this is the unfiltered picture. There's not really much that I can change here. Actually, even less now that I'm streaming, but yeah. Yeah, that's kind of horrible, but <sighs> can't do anything about anything about that unless I got a better camera here. I have a better camera, but I can't connect it to capture it with with my 
with 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 the computer. If you have any recommendations on good camera for this purpose specifically, I'm open for ideas. Yuki Chan's Papa. Yuki Chan's Papa is. Um, where is it? Yuki Chan's Papa. Here. So that's one E. Excellent. Also, I need a bite that tells you where... No, I don't. That's for later. But this first table here, I didn't. The text staff, where is it? Where do you find the text staff? Where is that? It is not here. Do I have? No, I don't have finding functions in this. No, it won't. Because the text is not in ASCII. It's uh, another encoding. <coughs> well, anyway, I think that's pretty much what I need here. I could probably put, to save the save space, put this on the same line. It doesn't really need to be that way. Yeah. That works. That really does work. And actually these are totally not needed here. Can do that. Can do that. Can do that. It works. Okay, so so that is the original text. Then I'm going to me make Finnish text and aloita salasana virhe salasana. Hmm. <laughs> and probably actually this PPU address is in the wrong order. Let's fix that first. 
No, they are not only in, uh, in the same encoding. The endings are in a different encoding than the rest of the text. So screen table, refer, and... Doo -doo -doo -doo. What was I doing? Enc NDMS. I'm trying to create a translation of Mega Man 2 for the NES into Finnish language as an example project. So I've gotten so far that I already have the... I created a tool that extracts all the text. A little quieter please. I created a tool that extracts all the text from the ROM into a text file because text files are so much easier and neater to edit than to try to... Oh, there's the game over text here. Wow, I missed that. Then to hex edit text into the ROM. So that's my style of working. I need to put this game over text into there. Where is it referred from? Let's see. E1 EO It's actually not E, it's A hmm. So let's find that again Not this bank But this bank E1 No, it's B1. Okay. B1. That's 7. Should be. No? What? B1 E. Oh, it should be there. Is this the wrong bank? Right. Actually, it's not. Should be this, but still wrong. No. All right, found it. So game over. It is this string. which is referred from I know GIMP I don't know any other tools for that purpose if that's what you are asking from the selection of open source, I mean. Actually, it's not seven characters, it's nine.
nine characters. I'm not sure I can make it any larger. Yeah, I have it already on maximum size. Sorry about that. If you are watching this on a potato, then... Sorry about that. How many characters can I fit there? I'm not going by ROM size limitations, but... Normal difficult, those texts I haven't found yet. Let's see. Password. So I can fit two more characters there, I think. So this much. Except if I do this. Yeah, that works. Let's try that. Okay, Scandinavian characters are going to be a problem here because there's no, 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 then they are not dead, <laughs> they don't exist in the font. Mm. No, I'm not changing the ro size of the ROM. I'm going to relocate the text. That's why I made this uh, array of free space. So let's see. Let's see. I can adjust those later, but Okay, so that's pretty much it so far. Tämä virheellinen jatka tässä on valinta salasena painaa anappia salasena eli ohi atomi tuli. Yeah, I'm remapping the string pointers. That's why I put these all these refer uh -huh. refer things here. No, I can't do. I can't do that. If I change the font and put two dots on the A, then all all the A characters are going to be changed into A. Ah.
get equipped with um, to think about that later yeah that's what I have to do but the problem is yeah that's that's exactly right the 16 16 size limitation is exactly because of that but the problem with font is it's embedded somewhere here again sorry about the as you can see here, it's somewhere there because this is a character RAM game, so it's going to be a little difficult. I have to have to figure it somehow. The alarm is stop. Presented by. Okay, so that's a little. Yeah, W is probably a good candidate for that. Except it's not possible because Woodman uses W. Yeah, we use Undertale, Undertale music here. Actually, I could change that into. Um, let's see, this one. I'm not going to change the boss names. <laughs> that would be so corny. Okay, so I need to make the inserter now. So I need to tokenize this first. Right now I'm just hard coding these names here. So why I chose those. That works so far. And then I need a regular expression. Which is initialized, initialized just one. This song is called Another Medium. Or this and all about this and this. I don't like using namespace. I have written an explanation of that somewhere in my YouTube channel comments, but I can't remember where. It's kind of long, long thing to explain. You mean this? 
It doesn't work. That's why. Alright, so with this regular expression I'm going to get all the tokens from that. So, I need some example of using regex in some code. This works. Good old copy paste coding. What is this? What is that? And pattern is that. Okay. Let's see if it works. Just tokenizing the... Oh. Works, yes. What? What? What am I doing wrong here? Tokens, the thing plays back. That should be right. Ah! works. All right. So now that I have this, actually I should probably support comments here as well. So I can put comments here. Yes. Before Aloy top was 
Yeah. Okay, that's all right. I use move semantics here because that's the last time I'm going to need tokens. So I'm just moving it here. It really doesn't actually affect if I do it like this, but since I don't need it at the calling site anymore, I'm just moving it here so I can safely modify it. If I, if I for some odd reason, happen to want to modify this, this table here I can I can safely do it if I do this that it, that would of course also be a possibility but it's not a very good practice in my opinion to use non-const references and then I need uh, Itoa I think Itoa Itoa This. Oh, okay, it was this as stoi, stoi. Still compiles, does it? Yeah, it does compile. Yeah, there's man page for this, but there there isn't man page for that. There isn't man page for C++ functions. Stoi. Does it? Hmm. Okay. What does it say if I... It doesn't stay st say stoi here. Ostanovka privabla blan baval bab I think it should be stop. Yeah, there's your stop. Access that store upor upor. Wow, that's suspicious of me. Privala. Yeah, Privala, okay. I'm, I'm kind of rusty on Kyrillic characters. No, I won't. No, I won't play Spear of Destiny. So... Actually, I'm going to need some kind of blobs. Yeah, I do sometimes get angry. And yeah, I'm going to need a linker. Oh, 
and they get us red premises. <laughs> no kidding. I would not expect many of my viewers to know Finnish, except those who are Finnish. I don't think I have that song. Let's see. Let's see what I have. While it is loading that. Reference references in this address, and uh, somehow it refers. What kind of reference is it? This low byte, high byte, or word. Why is it not loading that? Why are you not loading? Hello? Why are you not loading? Nasty. Well, then for the time being we are, we are without music. Let's see. Something is definitely wrong here. And Ctrl C is not going through. What? What is happening? Rip dash. Oh, it is in D state. One of my... Let's see. If I don't have Samba on here... Let's restart that. What? Restart that if it helps. Stop. And start. Alright. Now that should go through. Post is down. Please work. It's not working. Hmm. Yeah, I lost my connection to the server. Although I am on the server through SSH here, but... Yeah... Well, then I have to play something locally. Can't help it. Yeah, the grammar can be quite difficult with Finnish. Meidän kieli on pretty much finished with 
some Swedish words put into it. I don't... was it cat? Yeah, kissa is actually a Finnish word for cat, but isn't it koshka in Russian? I, th I think it's koshka, not kissa. Let's see. Cat. Kot. Koshka. Yeah, Koshka. You do? Really? Hmm. Okay. So, I'd blow them. Outona omilla mailla. Green table. Too bad I can't use a switch case with strings. I don't think I'm a fan of any particular car driver or sports person really, for that matter. So CPU addresses are actually encoded as yeah. Well perhaps that reason I was a bus driver. Why is there brackets here? I need to think of a way for these references to be interpreted depending on... Let's see... Depending on context. Mm-hmm. 
something. Actually, even this screen table, I don't need the address there, though, do I? Do I actually need the address there? Screen table, table address. No, I don't, because I'm at it 3. I don't need it there. So I can remove that. That goes out. For F string I do need. Because... Yeah, I don't need preferences for that. Table, I don't need this anymore. The F strings also, yeah, they do need that. I was a bus driver, coach driver, and I still can drive them. I still have all the cards and permissions and so on, but I'm not employed. Yeah, in Finland, even bus drivers code. Actually, the reason I did this here is because it's similar to this. There were pre previously two lines here, now there's just one line. And now it is just for consistency like this. So this song ended. If I put 
Super Mario Galaxy music here. I'm probably going to get some kind of copyright thing on my channel, so I won't do that. Let's see. Back to Chrono Cross it is. Self-intelligence, whatever might you refer to. If you mean something like emergent in emergent intelligence, I don't think I have it. Actually, this is not going to be enough for the text format. I need new line tokens also. Yeah. New line tokens. Well, frankly, I hope not. No idea about Linux parts of Bishawk. Let's see. Bishawk Linux. What does it say? There's one that is old. Yeah, it's a bad sign. 
and yes it is cold and yes it is instant coffee also Loa, Loa is quite useful for some re for some purposes. Why? What is the problem here? Refs dot in place the target name it is right, offset is right, and that is right and that is right. So why it does it not work? Why does why does it not like this? Ah, right. Type. So yeah. Type. TPU. That is done. Screen table. That is not yet done. Do I actually need the length for anything? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't need the length of any or anything. Screen table. So I don't need the length for anything. So that is done. Refer. I still need to handle that. It's a to do length and address current table. Well, there's no current table actually here to speak of. There's um, So when I get a new line, I don't actually, I'm not supposed to do this, I'm actually supposed to do plus element. Plus table should, should still go here. Plus element should go here. Actually, you are saying I should use in place back with arguments to the constructor, but there is no constructor here. If I do this, you will get an error like this, because there is no constructor here. If I did this, put here the arguments and so on, then yes, I could do this, but without it I cannot do it, so I have to do this. yellowness in that picture is really bugging me. Let's see what I can do about it. Let's 
so horrible. Color. It is the opposite of yellow. It's pretty much blue, but if I do blue, it does this. That's not really much better. The, the color color correction filter in in uh, open broadcasting studio is horrible you can't do basically anything useful with it there's no really option to do oh, that's so nasty i don't really like that at all let's see if i can improve things with the light a little bit if i enable this kind of light here does it improve anything at least it brought my green screen really visible let's see can I help that big screen color like that and then don't know if that's much better well yeah it, it is better Definitely better to compare to this yeah <coughs> much better So, the book FFI, what are you referring to by FFI? function interface okay no hi so let's verify that I got it right yeah I need also the this word reference Here we're different kinds of references. So that is done. And actually, that should be fine. Here I don't need a table actually. I don't need a table here. Yeah.
Well, thank you, the new, new time gamer. I mean, what is the point of mapping? do need. Yeah, let's do that. So, let's remove that. Ending. Remove the count here. Like I did here. If mode is ending, then I need to do ending string translation. Otherwise, I do translate of other character. I'm not using a library for that. This is my linker here. You can see in the, on the screen right now. So, I need to do, do the reverse of this. So for the other characters I know this syntax is not standard C but, but let's try again. I know this syntax is not standard C but I'm doing it anyway just to save some work. And for others, return the C minus that. All right. What did I change here? Nothing. That works, and that is going to be blob in standard C++. It would be like this, and so on. Yeah, case by case. That's 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 so nasty. I don't like it. So when that is done, that is done. blob dot date yeah, that's it it doesn't work in switch case 
they're greater than or less than they don't they don't work in the switch case so when that is done let's do the table first well let's do the element first the flash element if current did I do blob elements should be current blob blob it should be current string so if it has a name Plan on sharing the source code. I wasn't plan. I was not planning for that, but I could. I could do so. Why not? So the current string and the address is like that. So in that case, it gets added to the linker. Add blob. Break, and that's all done. If the mode is screen table, then it still gets added. But before that, I have to adjust some properties of it. Well, exit address is false. Address and uh, no, not that. Bank is equal to current table dot current table dot address that part. <laughs> yeah, bank is there. There. That should be all, I think. I'm not sure if it's all, but let's see. I'm using uh, Fuji Fujitsu Siemens keyboard of some kind. This kind of keyboard. Ending strings. The fixed address is actually it is fixed, but um, let's see what what did I do there? Uh, it is referred. Yeah, it's not fixed, but it's in a. Oh yeah, they are even in a blob. Well, let's think about this for a while. Yeah, this is pretty much error driving programming. That's what I do. <laughs> Current table dot name. Current table dot. No, I don't do data. How do I? I do current table dot mm, data push back. Can I do push pushback? I think I need to do this. Current table string ring 
Linter. Was it something about Linter? Yeah, Joe's own editor. Okay, there is no advertisement screen there. So, what do I have there so far? Let's see without that. This is kinda, kinda difficult. That I need to have there. Current string. In case of endings, I don't want to. I need this though. Nothing. In case of F strings. In case of F strings, there's nothing to add. Okay. In case of screen table, there is something to add. But the screen table actually... How did it actually work? Wait. Um. totally forgot how it works. So this was starting offsets into this data. Right, starting offsets into data. Let's see about that again. FBD. FBD, 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 FBD is here. Okay, so this was starting offsets. Okay. So it kind of works the same way as in the endings. The endings. No, the wrong, wrong file. Endings. And ending. In both of them. And these are not separated strings. I can't actually reset that. So yeah, that's not right. Greetings to Barcelona. So that's not right. With ending so there are basically in each of these screens, f string and ending, there's a table that contains numeric offsets and there's a blob which contains concatenated strings. So it's not like there's a table and a set of blobs, there's just table and blob. And the blob contains multiple strings. So they are in pairs, except with F string there is no table. So actually current string dot name is screen length your name screen date. And here ending uh, Offset. Actually, that's offset two. And current string dot name is gen linker generate name ending a string. You are not the first one to ask that. There is some noise in the microphone, and I can't help it. Actually, I need to do that same thing here. Ending a 
drink. Yes. Or actually, Linde. Yeah. There's no other restriction except that also should be changed like um, this. Endings. They should go into the same bank. String and table. Address is um, is going to be hard coded data, which is not nice. This is not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. I'm just doing things. And hello, Protect War. In case you have never noticed, I can't reply to your YouTube comments. I wrote you a message in one of those videos in which you commented, but I can't reply to your comments. You should check that out. Screen table, that should be... Three there. Well, you know, fluorescent lamps actually oscillate at the mains frequency, which is 50 Hz, or in USA it's 60 Hz. So that's what you are hearing here. Hearing here, but it's not fluorescent la fluores lamps that I s that are doing it. It's just the mains that are somehow leaking into the sound. Screen table that is there. Fixed address is false. It should be somewhere in those banks. And what else do I need there? Address. Let's reset those to default values so it's nicer. Let's keep warning settings happy. Except if I do that, it's what it won't compile. Yeah, it won't compile. So I can't do that. <laughs> That's the wrong kind of character there. And that's the wrong kind of character there. And uh, break. This is where I. Yeah, that's exactly right, Mark Grassia. Ending and screen table. Flush table. Add blob is the move current table. That should be enough. Okay, I have a feeling that is enough. Let's try it. What did I miss here? Ending table. Endings. It should be endings. No, ending. 107. Current still. Yeah, that's that and I don't actually need to have this line here and I don't need to have that it's also passed through here nothing is not handled it is nothing a length is not used hmm. I keep that warning. What do you mean by select the language? A length is no longer there, and so I need not that. Okay, so let's see what the add blob will say. 
Let's put a destructor here and see what kind of things the destructor will ever see. Before I create the actual compilation here, I also need to pass the free space. I forgot about that. If t.first is free, then address and length. One and two. Linker dot add free space. Contains name address. I have heard of Rust programming language, and it is on my list of languages to learn some some day. But I haven't gotten there yet. It's quite interesting. No, it doesn't because kind of out. Friends, to that, those look all right. 
my eyes get tired of this, so yellowness it is back. Sorry about that. But my eyes get tired of that lamp. Yeah, there is some kind of hum there. And also... Actually, I'm going to change something else here. Just going to put um, color police. So there was the error here. Screen table. It didn't add the current string. And why is that? Because it didn't add it. Okay. Okay, screen data, that should be fine. Actually, I should test with the original data first. Some kind of ground loop, yeah. I don't know which. So, start. 40, and it should end with... should end with 54. 40, yeah. That looks perfectly fine. Screen offset doesn't look right. It doesn't look right at all. Screen offset is not right. Hmm. There's way too many things there. No, I haven't considered. I didn't even know of such a thing. No, that's not right. That's not right at all. Hmm. I don't need to do that there. It's instead, I need to do this. String. Screen table. Flash element. So flash element is not necessarily done here. Let's see. Actually flash element should be done after every one of those. Probably. So that looks more like it. That's what it should like look like. Yeah, except it is not right. The offsets here are not what they should be. <laughs> Watch people die. Oh my. No, there isn't any transformer close to the microphone for wires, except, except possibly in the computer case or in the motherboard. It's a screen offset, but that's not off because screen... No, 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 yes it is. Okay. Screen offset is there. But screen date also needs to be referred somewhere. So... How did I actually do that? Because... Yeah, table length. I'm not actually referring to table length here. Let's see. Six of ninety-seven, and I mean thirty-nine. BD 
do I actually change the references here? No, I don't. So I'm actually referring to the wrong data here. So with screen table I should be actually adding to the string. Like this. That's more like it. So the screen offset table actually cannot move. Can it? It can, but it should not. So let's keep it. Should I? Should I not? Ah, let's let's make it move. FBD. 3, 6, 9, 8, B plus 1 and the uh, word to starting offset table so it is going to refer to actually why not compile that and run it didn't work. And this. Now insert, insert, just endings, if type is two, else I had to insert the reference to that and work with that yes that should work screen opposite all right excellent f strings are in here they are perfectly fine except with x f strings i should make sure they are properly sized insert so let's add the fixed length fixed length is this Up and uh, how does it work? Basic, basic string append. Append. Append, append. Where did my window disappear? It's there. Append uh, how much and character. Okay. So it's going to add. Uh, Excellent, it works. But endings are missing, endings are missing. I don't see endings. No, it is ending. Hmm. I see ending offsets here. References to it, but. Ah uh, yes, I probably need to do flush table. Yeah. 
ending off so it's, let's see that should be fine oh yes and now I just need phrase base let's see hmm Ah, thinking, thinking, thinking. I probably have phrase based collection utilities somewhere. I have a bin packer here. Oh man, that's going to be so complicated. Because this is written in C in PHP and I need something that is written in plus plus this is from my simul uh, quest tools this is written in PHP so I'm just going to create a simple and dummy stupid implementation first. Multi-pack bills. Yeah, that's so much code that I would need to do there. And I'm not just not going to do it. Space. Space. Space is there. Space. I got free space. Space is in bank. This and there we add a address on this length. All right. No, I didn't. When I still was constrained to the old computer and so on. I was planning to create my own streaming con software, but I didn't get very far there. So, so I'm using Open Broadcasting Studio here. It seems to work well enough for my purposes. I'm very happy with it. So, now I need to do some linking. funny. Oh yes, I do have some long-term projects. By the way, has anyone sent me mail? Just checking. Of course, I'm not going to show my mail on, on your screen. Sorry about that. Crunchy audio. Someone said, crunchy audio quality fits in the old school old school programming vein, don't mind it at all. Yeah, that's a proper attitude. No, it's it's the standard OPS from Debian. Right now I'm do not doing anything for my living. While I do still earn some money from from uh, little bits from somewhere. For example, today is Tuesday Two days from now, I'm going to some place to teach Israeli folk dance. I'm going to earn little bits from there. Although I'm not doing it for money, but I do earn some bits from there. And also I get, because I, I am un unemployed, I get some kind of, I don't know what it is called, benefits anyway. B fixed address is false. 
then I de need to find something. Space from a bead bank. This is a very simple way of situating the code. Actually, I could do this. Don't need those brackets there. B dot fixed other is true. Well, I actually bought the DLC to the Talos principle, so I'm going to stream that sometime when I play through that DLC. But it's go probably going to do going to happen on Twitch and not YouTube. Error, error, error. When it's linked, then I can add all the references. Yeah, again, absolutely that one, yes. References. Target symbol. Yeah, I have a Twitch, twitch.tv slash realbiscuit, that's my, yet, that's my channel. And I have actually, you can see Talos Principle, I was streaming Talos Principle at, there at some time, but uh, it was some time ago. <coughs> yeah, no one watches me there. References. Find this error dot name if we, if address is not found. Create a blob. Address is um, that one plus R dot. And depending on a type, reference, uh, let's add a low byte. No, that's not right. Uh, 
address is um, that one. Actually, I do. Well, yeah, that's okay. Hi, bite. And uh, actually, I need to translate this into NES addresses. From to NES. To this address conversion needs to happen. Like so. Yeah, OBS streams to one source. Just one source. Stream, yeah. Alright, now that everything is linked, then I just need to create a patch. But before I do that, let's verify that everything worked. For instance, this didn't work. Yeah, because I should not use const there. And... Uh, what? Why is it const? Oh my. <sighs> yeah, the camera keeps mode shifting. Can't help it. Should probably do away with the green screen thing totally. Let's just keep it that, that way. If it still blinks, then it blinks, but. I'm green and yellow. Ugh. At least it's, a, it's an honest view now. But why is it? Why is it read only there? Well, this is. Uh, there are dot. It should be b dot. That is expected. Hello, hello, warp. But why is it saying this? Oh, of course, because yeah. Okay, so I should have actually not map there, but like this space dot. Like this. All right, so now that they are all linked, actually, it's still not linked. Why? Oh, because I didn't call link, of course. So linker dot link. Let's try that again. Now why do I have two tasks here? Alright. So it's linked, but it's still not working. Why? Fixed adder. Should be address and not bank. Huh. That should be it. And this should be it. So it couldn't find any space. <laughs> and why is that?
bank contains nothing. Why does it contain nothing? Free space. There should be free here. Add free space. Am I doing something wrong there? Free. is just for the booking. So that should work. Why is it not working? Did it actually? No. We couldn't find anything. Why is that? A bank. Bank contains nothing. Oh yes, that's because of that. All right. Still couldn't find anything. It needs that much and it doesn't have enough. All right, now we get to the funny part. So we need to find free space. So. in the previous bank. It should be here. Alright, we have plenty of space in here. I presume this, is, this space is unused. I'm going to assume so. So let's try that. 3, 27, E85. Well, I could actually probably do this. And that's about that much. All right, so they all have now proper spaces for the text. Just translate the text, that's all. Let's see about the finished text now. Oh yes, it still compiles perfectly. So now I need to make it output a patch. So instead of that, actually I could put this into a dump function. See out. Right, and uh, print. Am I using? No, I'm not using those. Patch. Now to remember how patch files work, I'm going to loan some code from here. So, patch files. That is definitely not my best possible reference. So I'm going to use unmake.cc here. Plain length. 
probably be touch style. No, that's not right. This is what it should be. So rate buffer three. And it's a big Indian number. So size and then finally the data and that should be all make patch it should now output some binary data which look like this which is what it should be. Test.ips. I got the IPS file and now hmm, let's get the tool that applies the IPS files. I'll make IPS test.ips megaman2.ness patch Oh, this text is not translated yet. Okay, and normal difficult, those are two missing. And crash! Alright, that wasn't so promising, and I know exactly what caused it. Because I didn't think of the NES header when I did that. Let's try it again. Right. And it still crashed. How about if I load the save? How do I load the save? I don't. So, now it gets interesting. it said all this and these are perfectly fine I think so except this should be sorted yeah this should be sorted Try it again. That still crashed. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. What am I what am I doing wrong here? No it doesn't. It hasn't audio. At that point. So low byte is that, high byte is that, word is like that, that is alright. Name, it doesn't need a name.
Well, you heard this. That's the title screen. But that's as far as it gets. Yeah, that that is a valid theory, Alexander. That is a valid theory. If I remove that. I'm creating a ROM hack warp. Isn't that obvious? Nope, didn't work. Didn't work, so... That... If I remove this... Let's see about that original file. Original file was this. Actually, if I insert the original file, like this, oh, it actually works. What does it do now? It doesn't work. Huh. A ROM hack to translate the game into Finnish language. Original texts here, new texts here. That's pretty much what it is going to do. Let's add the dump again. No, I don't have a debugger there. That would make things so much easier, but I don't. And those are ending texts, so... That shouldn't matter. Oh yes, this was something that confused me a little bit. And I know exactly what causes it, because in the st strings there... Linker dot... If mode is screen table, I need to add the string length first. Data... Push back t dot first dot length size actually. So that is actually one thing that was missing there, and now we cannot find space. Could not. And somewhere I forgot to bank contents. It couldn't find that, and that's odd because there's just 10 bytes there. That's odd because I didn't change anything there. Let's see. So the screen offsets which were in FBD, address FBD. 6 FPD should look like this. Oh, yes, there's one byte extra here, so that is the problem. Yes, so in uh, here I need to table.erase one byte from there. Date. And that should be fine. Let's see about now. All right, now with fini finished texts. Finished texts. It should still. It doesn't. 
because it couldn't find one ten bytes for that. Screen offset one. What is going on there? Screen data, screen offset, screen offset, screen data. Oh yeah, screen. Okay, so I need more space in this bank. Let's see if I can find more space in this bank. Oh yes, some data there. Some space there. FA oh, let's put there like 64 bytes I guess and that helps yeah and now how does it work Aloita Salasana and I should be getting no that's not right Press start doesn't work here. Let's see if I can load the save state here. Save. No. FCS. That didn't because I didn't translate that part. I am pysäytin. I am pysäytin. Viesti tohtori laitilta. And again missing character. Item 3. Valmistui. Aseet valmiiksi. Oh yes. And this message is also untranslated. And numbers, uh, item something. Oh, wow. Well, almost there. And password screen. Oh, yeah. Yes. Scandinavian characters are missing. That's perfectly intentional at, at this point, but the other mistakes were not. So, and also I want to, kind of want to see the ending, whether it worked. I want to see the ending. But I don't want you to see me playing that part, so let's see. So you are going to see some things here. That's not going to be it. Stage. Current stage. Let's try that. New cheat. Add cheat. Current stage. QA. And this is going to be number 9, I think. Yes. 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 Alright. Some challenge! Well, anyway... And that's wrong. Let's try again. And this should be it.
All right, but this is not the right stage. So one, this is going to be. Mm, let's try this. I'm going to die here intentionally. Can't fix my microphone. Okay, this didn't work. Let's try again. I don't have turbo here. No, the same stage again. I don't want here. Uh, this is the wrong variable then. Current stage. Well, I... And of course I'm all out of... <laughs> all out of everything. Well, that's not fair. Let's try one. Oh, I didn't actually modify it. Wow. That's because it's hexadecimal. It's not decimal, it's hexadecimal. So let's try that again once more. And make a save here. Oh yes, that works. But I don't want here either. I want a little bit forward. Wow. <laughs> okay. Too much forward. Too much forward. All right. Next. And of course, I'm all out of weapon energy for anything. So how in earth I'm going to beat the boss here, because these don't give any energy. I'm going to need another bo another cheat here. Weapon energy. How am I going to get weapon energy here? Item 1 remain. Okay, I can find it here. So that should be like... Um, A4 minus... Minus... Um, something. Let's try. Just randomly. And see where it takes me. Perfect. And I'm doing this because I want to see the ending.
Let's see what kind of problems do I run in there. Scanline effect. Yeah, those scanline effects are caused by something, I don't know which. Some kind of bug in NVIDIA's drivers, I guess. So I'm going to need to wait this. Can I use turbo somehow? Turbo. No, this, this, this isn't really going to help me. Okay, that was unexpected. That's not the game bugging, that's emulator bugging. <laughs> Actually, maybe I can do this, FC, this and uh, tab. Turbo. Turbo is... it should be 9. That should be fine. Mm. And it actually... Turbo, 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 turbo... I don't know... Should be working. Just have to wait then. Because I don't have... Tab doesn't know do anything here. Unless I can... Enable frame skip. Going there, okay, not config at least that works. I did restart the emulator. And this one is not translated yet, because I couldn't find the staff text. So these are going to be here, but when we get to the scrolling bar, that should be translated. Yeah, it is, re it is really nice. I have actually done this star field effect in one of, one of my little test ROMs. I could probably actually show it. No, I'm not going to. It's another topic. Right here we go, and it's broken. And I forgot to make a save state here. I'm not going to translate the boss names, I'm going to leave them as as they are. It's it would be too corny to translate them, but the endings are not working as they should, so Let's see what is going with that. Actually, nothing was quite working there, except one of the menus. So... Hmm. Let's see. So the first thing it was listing was this. And these are not working. Let's see if the offsets are actually right. Actually, if I... If I do this, I oops, send that file to the server. Resume your music. And make a disassembly of that. Ah! 
patch.nes.patch.lst and compare these two. Wow, okay. Let's try without like this. No, wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong way around. Like this. And see what happens now. Differences between these two. Oh yes, I should probably also try see my Megaman 2 ROM first. Because I made changes to the INI file. Yeah, sometimes corniness works, but sometimes it doesn't. Alright, so this part is... I think that should be as it is. Is it right? These are endings. Yes, that is perfectly fine. But somehow this part here is wrong. Why is it, why is it wrong? Uh, it changed too much there. 3.8 It's way too much changes there. That's so weird. Where else is differences? So this is changed and this is as it should be, but this is not wrong. This is not right, I mean. This is totally wrong. And I know exactly what is... I think I know exactly what is wrong here. Append, append, append. The first ones here are alright. But these are not right. Oh yes, because it's... At least I think so. Because this still appears here. Um, in any case, it is writing here too much data. In both cases, it is writing too much data. And also here, this this other ending. No, these are the fixed with strings. And these are perfectly fine. Those are fine. And this was the width table. Yeah. But this table. Why is this pointer not changed? Because it should be changed. Let's see. This reference here. Are there any other references to this? Let's see. No, there's just one reference. So there's one situation where it didn't change that. And why is that? didn't change that reference. So something is wrong there. Let's see what kind of contents does it change here. Oh yes, those references, they are not they are actually inserted into... When I make those references, I'm not actually inserting them into the Oh yes, that explains it. Blobs. Yeah, that explains it. Oh yes. Let's try that again. That is wrong, but that should be wrong. 
Let's see that again. FMC, that's alright. about the beginning thing. Let's run reset. Let's see about these ones. This works. And uh, this works. Kinda it kinda works. Kinda works there, but kinda not. Let's see, we're leading. So I can't actually use those. We are leading, so now we are leading actually works there. Aloita, press start. Where is that text? And that should be Tohtori. Not DR, it should be TRI. You should also find that. And when I get the game over, where, where could I get the fastest game over? Woodman, Quickman, I think Bubbleman is fastest. Oh, Tab works. Once more, ready. It's also untranslated. Peli ohi. Okay, that works. And uh, jatka. Tason valinta. Salasana. Excellent. But this should be also like this. Salasana. Paina a Yeah, that also works. Excellent. And uh, le then let's get, uh, see about that. Get it equipped with. What could be a good translation for get equipped with? Let's say. Hmm. You now have. Sinulla on nyt. Let's try that. Sinulla on nyt. And try that. F. Sinulla on nyt. Ajan pysäytin. Pysäytin. Alright. Viesti tohtori laitilt. Item 3. Valmistui. Aseet valmiiksi. Three. Sinulla on nyt. Item. Number is, miss number is missing there. So that works. No, Saas Exes. That would be so cumbersome language. Salasana tason valinta. And if I do a password here, it says Paina Ana. Yeah, that's excellent. So we are almost there, but. Press start is still missing, and some other texts. And also, did it, did these work? Uh, yes, it didn't because it was giving the blank pa blank screen here. Let's try that again. If I if I load the pointers again, maybe it didn't load the pointers early enough. 
Can I resize? No, I can't. Can I resize, please? No, I can't. For some reason. Yeah, I'm modifying the game. Namely the texts. That Z80 doesn't really have that many instructions. Yeah, it's a translation. But these ones I'm not translating because I'm not translating the boss names. No, they are not that much. There's like... Um, well, maybe 200. And it's still blank. Alright, so this didn't work. Why didn't it work? Ending strings. This should be fine. Hmm. The low byte patch didn't... It, not, it's not working. I see. So... High byte. Low byte. Let's see. Refer. Ending. Let's see. If it is that, it's not that. Well, I don't remember actually that the um, Z80 so so well. No, that this should be should be fine. At the low ref, at high ref. Does it actually do any references to that? Hmm. Okay, that should be it. Yeah, that should be it. Hmm. Eight six seven eight. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh yeah, the first one is high byte, and the second one is low byte. That's the problem here. So that's quite easy to fix. <laughs> that's not the nicest way to fix it, but. It works, I think. Hmm. I just need to do this once again. Maybe I should make a save somewhere here. Like here, for instance. drawing board. Yeah, it's progress. Could be this. Let's try without. Seven and load.
it wasn't that. Okay. Wasn't that. So it wasn't because I was using a space that I should not use. So let's find that again. Wrong bank. Where am I actually? Am I in the right bank? Yes, I am. So the data is in here. And I think I see what is... No, I don't. No, I don't. Ending table. It is referred from there. No, actually, I, I think I know what's the problem here. Yeah. I need a pointer to different things. So, two is going to refer to this. And let's try once more. And seven and load. Even though it doesn't work, I still think I'm getting somewhere. Because I'm doing the wrong, wrong thing here, I'm actually supposed to do this, right, and, and this. Good idea. That looks a little better now. Progress. Kiitos. I say kiitos there. That's Finnish word for thank you. should be a reference to the length table which is a table and I'm saying table here but it should be referring to the strings right 8678 yes yes it is referring to the date and that's the high byte and that's the low byte BDX with a happy ending. Word ref. Let's put this this way, it's nicer. High reference and low reference. Screen stable was already alright. That was perfect. So that doesn't need to be changed. But this one is still not working right. And the reason is under investigation. C7. Yeah, this is right. Yes, it is right. And this was for the addresses. I don't need to change that. So that should be all right. Hmm. Did I compile? Nope. <laughs> so what am I doing wrong here? If I skip that, 
No, I didn't need that, but if I skip that and that, what's go going to happen? Accidentally closed the terminal there. Let's do that again. Huge font. Mess, and the directory was this. And load. Yeah, it still does that. So, just changing the table here, it, it makes the problem. Let's make a name for the table. Ending table, its mode is ending data. String. And the first string looks like that, and ending offset is the name of the table, and it looks like that. And it changes, it, it differs from the original table, which looks like... Um, where was the original table? The original table was... Original table was 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 here. Oh, these are not offsets; they are lengths. Right, they are not offsets; they are lengths. Okay. Okay. So let's do this separately. For screen table, that works. For ending table that is not used, the flush element um, And that's actually wrong way around, because I need to do here this, and screen table does this. And once more. Character designer. Better! This is improvement. much better. Character designer, Yasukich, Nafkin, Tampon. But Maybe I don't do that there. If mode is... Ending, then I add this here. Current table. Oh yes. Let's try that. There we go.
Kiitos pelaamisesta. Presented by. Okei. Okay. It works now. Yeah. <laughs> It eventually gets you somewhere. I still don't have the Scandinavian characters here, but we are still getting somewhere. Fishman. Kiitos pelaamisesta. Presented by Capcom USA. <coughs> All right, everything that is here except for the except for the strings we don't have yet, like this screen here, this screen here, the press start here, and they're ready when the stage begins, and for the Scandinavian characters, everything else is done so far. Press start. Normal difficult. Should find them somewhere here somewhere. No, that's not right. That's not right either. How how is that? Let's try that again. Hmm. No, that's not right either. Why am I misremembering this? There we go. So the ready text. This ready text is kind of complicated because it uses and this next text also here. This are complicated because they use special parts of the character set here. What should I do about them? And also it kind of complicates things because I don't have the, the... 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 Uh, character ROM viewing tools here. Yeah, they are bitmaps, but they are two bit bitmaps. I have here my homebrew tool for viewing those character uh, character pages here, but they don't exactly look consistent here. I would need to create some tools for editing those specifically. And it's going to be some work. In Simon's Quest, which which I already have done, it's quite a lot easier because in Simon's Quest you have a character ROM where the let's see no let's see in Simon's Quest it's quite a lot easier to see this because these pages are here quite verbatim. And if you compare to how I did in my translation... Can I move this? Oh yes, I can. Let's move it a little bit. So in my translation, this is from the English retranslation. You can see I repurposed some blank space here for some alphabet. And I, and I don't have the whole alphabet here. I just have the characters that I do need here. So it's like that. And when we go to the map pages, uh, yes, this is the title screen here, which originally looked like um, this. And now it looks like this. 
So I repurposed also there. I don't need all the numbers, so I used that. There's some blank space here, so I used that for my ad web page address. Web, web address. And then, uh, let's see. Here is for the save screen, which originally didn't exist at all. It was blank. So I was able to use that. This is totally new here. And the map screen, which is here, it was also totally blank before, so I was able to use that. There's some characters there, not all. Those that I need are there. And then there's a couple of more pages here that are only graphics. So that was what, was what I was able to do there, but that's only because I had space there, and these are so easily visible here. But when it's a character RAM game, these rings are going to get more complex. So I don't think I'm going to cover that in this video, because it's kind of... This video is kind of long already. So yeah. I think that covers everything for today's video. Yeah, there's, there is blank space. There is plenty of blank space in Mega Man 2 ROM. That is not the problem here. But, but the problem is editing these character RAM data here, which is... I have to decipher how exactly it works. That is the problem. And possibly make the game actually load something that it doesn't normally load. So that is, that is the prob problem there. There's some things like this Japanese text here which we don't need, and uh, I don't think the game actually loads it ever. So this is, for example, totally usable. But, uh, yeah, it, it, needs, it needs some investigation, and it, it prob probably needs some tools to be created for that purpose, so that's that. But anyway, I got pretty far in this video, and it took me five hours, I think. This is five hours. So you can... And this is a simple video, this is a simple game. Mega Man 2 is a really simple game for that aspect, so... You can kind of see it's it's not really trivial to create ROM tra translations, but it is not also rocket science. So it's it's not too hard, but it still work. You can see what kind of work it is. So anyway, I think that covers all everything from today's today's video. I'm I'm getting tired, I guess, and it's late here, so. If there's any questions you guys want to ask, now is the good time to ask, otherwise I'm going to sign off. I don't even know how many viewers I have at this point. Can I see it somewhere? Let's see. Leave dashboard. How many viewers do I have here? Pause that. 62. Well, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, the number is changing from the minute to another. No, I'm not going to touch that touch direct X. It's going to be Microsoft's thing, and I'm not going to touch it. I have zero interest about di direct X. Yeah, you are on TV. When is the next stream? I'm not ma making promises about my stream streaming schedule. I do when I when I like. I do things when I like to do things. So probably the next time when it is good weather, so I can get proper lighting, and uh, when I have some topic for the video, that's when I'm going to do the source code for today's video. Yeah, let's see. Let's make a directory for it. Programming examples, Mega Man 2 trans, Mega Man 2 trans, and uh, everything. Well, at least the source code. These files are going to be. Yeah. 
Megaman to trans. What? 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 I'm not out of disk space, am I? No. I'm not out of this disk space here. No. What? What now? Oh well, let's do it the other way. In any case, well, I, I will figure out that problem later, but... Plus Megaman 2 Trans. There you have it. That's the source code. Inserter is there and the dumping tool is there. So that address... Kinda long here, but... I will put it in the chat. Here is the address. All right. Something else. A flex and bison. About flex and bison. Let's see. Maybe in the future. I don't use them anymore. I like. I like actually this tool so much more that I don't really use flex and bison anymore. Or at least I don't use le flex anymore, but let's see, maybe, maybe something. Let's see, anything else? No direct X, some, someone asked that. Mm, have I tried any tiling wa window manager? Yes, I have. Don't, don't like it. Is it fun to ROM hack? Yes, it is fun. It is... It's kind of exciting to discover something when it, when it's something you want to do. Tutorial on graphics programming. Well, let's see what happens in that aspect. Did your game render have a global global brightness reduction? Yes, it actually does. It does the. Let me show you. It has two kind of things. There's a global contrast and there's a pixel contrast. Global contrast works for the whole screen at once. It measures the whole screen brightness and pixel contrast measures the brightness for the whole... Uh, for one pixel uh, blurs the screen and then uses that blurred screen for the... <coughs> contrast for the individual pixel and so it's a combination of the global contrast and the pixel contrast that's what I do there how do I learn all this stuff well I experiment I just experiment now I'm not still driving a bus I don't not like it I actually like it, but I, I am just unemployed right now. Yeah. Okay. I think that is all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.